Continuing on from my video about needle phobia, this video will cover the beginning stages of exposure treatment for the fear of procedures involving needles. Exposure is important because our midbrains only learn from experience. Until you get that experience, your midbrain will continue reacting to injections and blood tests, etc., as if they pose a risk to your life. We'll start with the easiest step. I'll put some words on screen that are associated with needles and medical procedures, and that's all we're going to cover in this video, okay? If this doesn't spark any anxiety, that's great. You're ready for the next video. Now, before we get into any exposure, I'd like to cover how to do the applied tension technique. This is for anyone with that vasovagal response. It helps you bring blood pressure up and maintain it so you don't faint and get a negative experience with any of the exposure. So get comfortable. First, tense your legs, arms, abs, chest, and neck. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds until you feel a warm sensation in your head. This is from your blood pressure increasing and blood filling your brain. Now, slowly uncontract your muscles, just enough that they aren't sore while still holding a minimum amount of tension. Hold it there for 20 to 30 seconds. Now, tense back up to the fullest extent again. Now slowly release down to minimal tension. Hold. Now tense up again. And slowly release and just hold that low level of maintainable tension. This can help prevent fainting and help you recover faster if you do faint. If you use it later on in your exposure process for getting some kind of needle procedure, practice relaxing the muscles in your arm or around the injection site as this will make it more comfortable. For now, take these exposure videos one at a time and feel free to watch them lying down if that helps keep that vasovagal response at bay. The idea is to get positive experiences with the exposure, not fainting. Just before we begin with the words, people find it really helpful to measure their anxiety levels as they go, so they can see their improvement from going through multiple rounds of exposure. Rate how high your anxiety is from zero to 100% for each word. And then when you go through the exposure again, you can see how things are improving. Ready? Here we go.
Well done on sticking through to the end. Come back to this video again to get some more exposure tomorrow and don't forget to rate your anxiety level so you can see your improvement. Once you're noticing that you don't have an anxiety reaction to any of the words in this video and you feel bored watching it, you're ready for moving on to exposure with cartoon images of needle type stuff. So get into that next video when you're ready. Give the video a like if it's been helpful and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below.